Well, I guess um, because of um, the way that they didn't secure things inside, there's some scuff right here. If you can see here, the the actual plastic has been marked. There's some indentation in there, so it's in here. Uh, so basically, scratch, no, nah, that's not scratch. These are basically things that it uh, get damaged during shipping. And I think they should do a better work. I guess I'm gonna call them tomorrow and find out. Um, on this side, apparently they have um, some of the, they have this right here, and that is not very well protected. So maybe one of these, um, edges uh, damage that plastic um, here the same thing you can see here they damage it so that's shipping it's not nothing it's not the quality of the bike it's shipping so they got to do a better job at um, protecting it when shipping the device let me push some more light over here well so, in here, on this side, as you can see, there is nothing, there, there, you may not see very well, but there is really no damage at all. Uh, and that is just because they put on this side all those heavy items without being um, just with that plastic right there. They were not really protecting, so that's... And then, so it's damage here, damage here, damage here, so we can tell. And no damage on the other side at all. And that's exactly how I took it up. See, damage, damage, damage. And uh, I should examine it for any other damage. No, that's, no, exactly. That's where they were having those, uh, those bits hanging. So basically here you got um, instructions, they, they brought their own tool, uh, their own tool here to put it together, the pedals, I uh, put it apart very well, uh, wrapped for the handlebars and the control unit, I thought it was bigger, so it's basically uh, smaller than my hand, and I don't have a big hand. But um, it's very well secure, and it has uh, the battery included there, so I'm going to plug it in, and the instructions uh, uh, in there, so I'm just set, so I'm going to start putting it together, and I'll let you know uh, in a little while. So the bar has a very good feel, good material, I think it's going to be awesome, um, has a good feel, uh, it was very well protected. So there is no issues with the bar, the handlebar. I think it's great. It feels good when I handle it. Uh, good size. I mean, uh, for a good grip on the bars. Uh, so I think, and this is to put the, the control unit. I think it's going to be the display. So I think it's going to be good in that sense. Let me continue. I just realized that this was bent. So it... Although it was protected, it actually was bended almost all the way here. So if you look at it like this, it was bent like this. And I have to put a little pressure there. Not too much because I didn't want to weaken the, the metal right here. I might be solder right there in this union. So I didn't want to weaken the, the metal. So I think that's um, pretty much the way it's going to look. Um, that was supposed to look so you, at least you you can just put your thing your 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 hands around here when the when the display will be here but that's another thing that I want them to get a feedback they're supposed to put like a wedge or something to protect this from bending and that's another issue that I found that they came short during uh, their um, wrapping or I will say that um, securing for shipping 
the device or I'm sorry the bike itself so that's another suggestion for Stera please put a wedge a foam wedge or something to protect it not so much from here but from here because it's not going to bend the other way but it bent all the way here so that's uh, something and that will weaken this metal union here with the with this part in here it's not uh, uh, it's not any other way well um, I'm just a little bit uh, out of breath because I was just testing the bike and guys it's awesome uh, basically uh, good side display awesome it looks great slick uh, you can add uh, if you wanted it I'm gonna be doing it with uh, my 65 inch TV but you can just put an iPad here if you want to put it in one of your bedrooms or something like that um, it's sturdy everything came out firm uh, the seat is not uh, the most comfortable one well, for Yishi Son, I mean, uh, for Yishi Son, I mean, uh, I, I didn't like it very much, but uh, you can change it, and uh, you can put any, any seat that you want to, if comfort is something that you're looking for. The bike looks awesome. The, it actually took me a while to figure it out. Um, it took me about an hour and 10 minutes to put the bike all together. Not rotting anything, not over tightening anything. And it looks, guys, looks great. The only thing, and it, and the magnetic resistance at four is like you're driving. I mean, um, biking in the city. By if you go all the way to high, it is a pretty intense workout. Your legs will be like really tired unless you are like a person that you know do this professionally or something like that. Um, I just want to burn some calls, and I think this is a good-looking bike. Um, the thing being, I'm not happy. I'm gonna contact them tomorrow. Again, is the poor um, um, packaging that they did on this side. Got some damage over here, scuff and marks over here, and so the rest is pretty well. And they, you know, the design is awesome. Everything. This handle was a little bit down. the quick release. I mean, it's not. I mean, it was like a little bit, um, uh, it was too tight, too tight, but um, but it was, all in all, in all I think it's a great looking bike, um, a good ride, and I'm looking forward to start taking my online classes instead of uh, spending the money on the gym that I can barely go. Uh, have a great one, and sometimes we have to sign for the bikes. And there are no bikes available and then you wasted your time and uh, blah 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 awesome i love it i'm glad that i purchased